Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today for the film screening of Read. As I mentioned, uh, the film directed by Madhuri and Anushka explores the intersection between sexuality, gender and mental health and also of how women negotiate for freedom and dignity. Before we begin the screening, I would like to introduce Saranj, who is um, the co-founder of Queer Listening Circle, who is going to moderate the session. And uh, also before he takes it over and introduce our guest for today, I'd also like to uh, make a quick announcement. After the film screening, uh, we have a panel queued up at 12, which uh, aims to discuss and understand how mental health uh, identities are accentuated for people with certain identities. So please stay tuned for that. Over to you, Saranj. So uh, we would be starting the film very soon. Uh, I would just be introducing the filmmakers starting with Anushka Shivdasini. Anushka's work, independent film work, explores conditions of human mind. Her company, Running Cow Films, has directed multiple films until now. Madhuri Munda has directed documentaries exploring immigration, race, and gender. She has created award-winning films, campaigns, for various non-profits until now. We will be meeting after the discussion. Uh, we have the filmmaker with us. We would be joined by a protagonist of the film as well. So uh, meet you then. You will feel a churn in your stomach. And no, there will be no oxygen mask dropping down. Because hey, isn't this all in your mind? And you will know that the panic attack we are honored to have with us the filmmaker and the protagonist of the film Swati uh, among the two protagonists that were actually shown in the film uh, I mean, it was actually a really beautifully crafted film and um, as many have commented, uh, you know, during the film, it actually made people cry. I personally have screened this film uh, more than five times and every time it actually, um, you know, impacts you in a, in a certain different way. So, um, can I hear from Madhuri? the uh, director. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, hi Madhuri. Hi, hi. Yeah, so firstly, someone had asked, and I think like that's a question looming in everyone's mind, that how did you conceive of the idea of this film and how come you chose this particular subject, um, you know, before you went into the research mode? So uh, basically, Anushka and I are both uh, friends from school, actually. And uh, in school, we had a very close friend um, who was, um, he was schizophrenic. Um, and uh, he went through a very, very difficult journey. Unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. Um, he actually took his life. And uh, when, you know, as his sort of support group, um, I think that we, we didn't have such a clear understanding of, what he was going through. And I don't just mean from a mental health perspective. Um, I think he was also looking at these issues around intimacy, around being in relationships. Um, and I think there was a, a bit of a sense from everybody that, you know, first take care of yourself uh, before you even try to embark on these kind of things. Um, and, you know, what we began to realize as we sort of got older is that there's a lot around, there's a lot to unwrap around somebody with mental health issues. In a way, it is uh, different from even just a physical, um, you know, when, when you have, but it's, it's similar as well, because even with a physical disability, that doesn't preclude you from other, you know, from things in life that everybody should have access to. 
So, um, so we really started the journey um, looking at mental illness and its intersection with intimacy, um, with relationships, you know, how does that sort of evolve? Um, and we wanted to really explore this from the point of view of women, because we ourselves are both women, as well as we felt that as women, you face even more vulnerabilities in a certain sense um, by putting yourself out there, by putting your vulnerability out there. Um, and when we met uh, Swati and Ray, what we found is they were, um, there was a lot of honesty and there was, you know, more from even from the time sort of that we had come from in this journey, um, uh, there was a, a lot of honesty and a lot of facing up to, you know, and challenging the sort of kind of stereotypes out there. So, um, so that's really where the journey began. Uh, we made this film with the Public Service Broadcasting Trust. Uh, uh, they fund uh, documentary films. Uh, they're really an incredible group and they give us a lot of support through this whole process. So I don't think we would have been able to do it without them. Yeah, thank you for that response. Uh, Saranj, there's a question from Vipul Nanda for Swat. Mm. Right. Yeah. Uh, did you yeah, so Vipul yes. Nanda asked, how would you recommend that we engage with those without mental health issues? They start with empathy, if they mean well, but usually end up frustrated. How do you navigate this? I guess this question can be answered by both the filmmaker as well as Swati. It would be great to hear from Swati, the protagonist of the film as well. Mm -hmm. So over to you, um, you know. Um, Madhuri. Yeah, and uh, can yeah. you hear me? Okay, I think, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so uh, empathy is, of course, very important. It is the empathy and understanding is the basis of, you know, uh, dealing with anybody in life, irrespective of whether or not they are, you know, have a so called mental health disorder or not. Now, uh, I think the, the reason frustration uh, arises is when people do not believe your experiences or uh, put value judgment over your identity. And uh, uh, the way to navigate it, I would personally feel is to become comfortable in my own skin and in, with my own uh, body, my own mind and my own experiences in the past, which could have been traumatic. And, once I'm comfortable in my own skin, I find it easier to navigate what other people's opinions or thought process about me are. And by that, I don't mean that I don't need understanding and empathy from others. Of course, I need it. But I mean that uh, if somebody is not giving that, I can stand up for myself and uh, instead of feeling dejected by it. Yeah, thanks, Swati. That was quite... Uh a comprehensive answer to the question and uh, I mean you know the film um, somehow beautifully actually showed how the journeys of you and Ray um, you know how they coincide and bring out the intersections that one usually misses out when discussing about mental health issues um, you know so my next question is that, you know, where we see the overlapping of certain identities, whether it's about sexuality, whether it's about gender identity, whether it's about etc, etc, etc. So how do they come, uh, you know, together to, you know, in a way divulge in um, the mental health stigma that one faces in the, in the society at present? So. So I think uh, the stigma attached to the identities plus the experiences you form because of your identities lead sometimes lead to uh, mental health disturbances. I would not like to say disorders, but mental health challenges would be a better word. And the mental health challenges you face then lead to more discrimination. So there are two layers of discrimination. Actually, there are multiple layers of discrimination here that kind of intersect together. And uh, dealing with the, all of them becomes uh, quite a challenging task. Then. But I think it starts by unraveling your own identity and your own experiences. And uh, that's a very important part of therapy, I would say. That instead of just treating the so-called mental health problem, 
they are looking at it from a more holistic, holistic point of view, where the discrimination faced by you in the society, your own traumatic experiences, uh, the current structures, patriarchal structures in the society, all of it together is causing the mental health challenges that you face. You know, um, um, the other thing I wanted to say is, I think part of it is also, you know, we talk about it in the film where um, I think Swati talks about it, where uh, you get those um, messages on your phone. And, yeah. uh, you know, this person is sort of being very abusive. Um, and they're also blaming everything on the mental illness. And, you know, they're also trying to call out and say, you know, should we tell your father? And like, you know, that all that sort of patriarchal mm. mindset kind of comes into it. And I think one challenge that ends up happening is when somebody has, whatever it may be, you are not defined by that only identity. You're not a static human being, you know? So I think part of it is when we talk about whether it's empathy or how can others even relate to the situation, they can relate to it by looking at their own kind of multiple intersecting identities and how each one emerges at different points, you know. So uh, I think the frustration for people who have, you know, whether whatever you want to call it a mental illness or whatever it is, is, is that it, you don't want to be just slotted as that, you know, the whole idea is um, you're equally a complex human being and your different identities are emerging at different points. Your needs and desires are equally complex. Um, and I think that's really what we were trying to get at with the film. And I think, you know, Swati and Ray really beautifully articulate that in their journey through the film and both as activists now uh, speaking about their experiences. Yeah. Okay, so I would be reading out the question. And any of you, I mean, you know, uh, either uh, Madhuri or Swati can answer uh, the question. Someone has asked, Salomi has asked, how better can one navigate any relationship with a person with mental illness when they themselves live with, live with anxiety and other trauma responses induced by the former's behavior? So I think like uh, the person wants to know about navigating a relationship um, where uh, the the overlying uh, I think uh, relationship is that of trauma I think that's a very tough um, question to answer because I, it's something that I am also been learning in the process uh, rather than having a fixed solution for it but I think an important part of it is to Again, uh, navigate it by understanding each other's experiences mm. and thought process and engaging with each other more on the honestly on the topics that have uh, caused trauma or, you know, like, for example, in my case, I like to openly say whether or not it may you know, turn the person away from me is that if you need your alone time, I understand you need it, but I need more validation. So just tell me that you'll be back and it's not because of me that you're going to hmm. So things like that, having more communication, I think, in the relationship and being honest about your feelings and being, and being more vulnerable to who you are, which is both you know, scary and empowering at the same time. It's, it's one way to navigate it. Secondly, I, I, I feel that the second thing which is important is to understand the other person as you as and give them the same benefit of doubt that you would give yourself so uh, a lot of people who have induced trauma are constantly in a very angsty sort of situation all the time like i am at least like that so to give other person the benefit of doubt helps me and that's something that i've learned from my therapy session as well so there are a lot of ways through which you can navigate it. You know, it's a bit like the filmmaking process. Like you get in, you know, you go in to make a film and you, you, you can't have any preconceived notions about it. You just have to really listen and evolve with the journey, you know. And uh, uh, I mean, one thing I'll say is even if, even with Anushka and me, we had a, a friend, we thought we knew a lot, but actually in the process of making the film, we really, you know, we really grew and our own understanding grew. So I think as somebody, if, if you are really trying to be empathetic or really trying to understand the situation, the most important thing is really to also listen and to be able and open to learn because 
uh, nobody is nobody is the same it's also not the same for every single person so uh, you know similarly how you would negotiate any relationship and anybody's sort of quirks and you know uh, different kind of personality traits um it is a similar journey in that sense but i think the most important thing is to really be open and listen and engage um in an open dialogue right um so we have a question from lasya she asks uh, and this is directed towards swati mm-hmm. at what stage of your mental health journey uh, or at what age did you realize that your mental health challenges are interlinked to your identity especially gender identity so i was also a very bullied child uh because i would not conform to the uh, beauty standards that i expected of women even as a kid uh, i was often bullied so my my role my connection between mental health and my gender identity had been there throughout and uh, i think i kind of realized it uh, in my late 20s so not like 3 4 years back maybe that uh, it's not just depression and anxiety is coming from a space of my experiences and my identity and uh, all that happened a lot i think to making the film as well um so i think uh, you know uh, the concluding uh, i would take the concluding remarks both by the filmmaker as well as swati uh, especially on the way out especially on the different routes and modes that one can access to tackle their own uh, mental health issues you know and maybe while uh, you know documenting the like the journeys of like multiple other people uh, as madhuri might have done and also swati who is uh, i think herself uh, an activist and uh, you know has worked in that domain can give quite many solutions to people in question about what is the way forward mm. over to you so i you know i think the film that we've done it's obviously to you know give a platform or to a space for this kind of conversation and discussion um one of the other things that we wanted isn't just for people who don't know much about the issue it's also for people who are going through it uh, who are going through their own sort of mental journey mental health journeys um to really um you know to to understand that there are you know there are rays and swatis who um who have embraced their sexuality who are exploring who are out there who are asking questions who are vulnerable and embracing that vulnerability too um so we really you know first of all i just want to thank you i want to thank uh, belong and i want to thank you know all of the people who responded it really touches us to know that this film has touched you uh that is brought even tears to some of you it's it's it really is heartening for us um and this isn't just a film about exposing the issue or anything um it's really to just bring a little humanity um to you know to each and every one of us and to really to be able to embrace each of our individual experiences i would uh, like i can take the word humanity from uh, what madhuri said and i think that really is the thing uh, uh, humanity and empathy so i think if uh, the way to deal with it is to look at it in a overall context what we do is whenever there is a mental health challenge we send a person to therapy and medicines and do not look at any other things involved but we need to look at it in a more systematic and uh, method in which things like patriarchy capitalism or uh, discrimination and all are leading to more mental health challenges as we go by and at a personal level uh, like they also wanted to tell you that uh, she has come a long way in acceptance and her recovery to medicines and therapy and that's something that i also stand by and also uh, the journey i think it's been a beautiful journey for me dealing with my own health challenges because it brought me closer to my mind and body so i do not see it as something which needs to be solved i see it as something which needs to be accepted and uh, something i'm actually uh, glad that happened to me i think a lot of people actually wish to connect with both of you and are quite impressed and uh, impacted by the work that uh, you know both of you have presented not through the 
film but otherwise as well i mean uh, the film and the discussion i guess tackles the issue of mental health in a very holistic way where we are able to see uh, multiple you know mediums and modes through which uh, lenses multiple lenses through which one can see and view mental health uh, not just the issues but um, you know uh, the ways out as well so uh, thank you both uh, you know for being here with us um, i uh, hope that more such voices uh, more such beautiful voices actually um, you know uh, come out from the mental health movement and push it way forward um, thank you thank you so much belong team to have given the opportunity for such a discussion to take place thank you so much thank you thank, thank you thanks guys